hi good morning and good evening to everyone welcome to mainframe tutorial so you're watching mainframe tutorial CICS part 3 so today in this video I would like to share you about the important concepts or why do we use this as CICS in the real time so so below would be my four points which I would like to share today so the first one would be like who are the CICS users I mean where exactly who exactly the CICS screens are used or where exactly the CICS screens are used so what when we will look at what we, what will be the backend processing of CICS what exactly happens beyond the screens and the difference is showing batch and online so what exactly the difference uh, happens or how on online or interrelated to a batch so what happens between the batch and online how the communications uh, connection establishes between the batch and online so and we'll also look at the online availability when it will be on and when it will be turned off so we'll be discussing some examples of the uh, on online CRCS okay so let's start with the uh, the users who would be the users yes so they are the business users who update the data or browse the data from the database yes exactly so who are the business people so we develop the applications we provide screens to the users or the business people they open the mainframe CICS screen with the transaction ID and they log in they enter the details on the front end screen and it will be stored into in a particular uh, VSAM file or a particular database gets updated for example let us take an example of a stock exchange so the business users are provided with uh, some online transaction screens so where they would be entering your transaction details so the share price or something else and they will be updating so that is that is used by the business people and also the data entry operators who creates the transactions so on a day end so normally the trading happens uh, in the morning hours to the afternoon hours so after the entire the trading is, has been happened uh, there would be data entry operator will get in the set of list so they need to enter the data into a manually so so in in order to store the data we are provided with the screens to the data entry operators they where they manually enter it or with the help of some automation tools they log in those data into those tools into the screen sorry so the, these are the main real-time users which we where they use the screen screens direct screen screens uh, uh, I mean exactly the direct the black screen CICS screens they use okay and a uh, little bit back end of CICS what happens uh, beyond the uh, at the back end of CICS so, so the data that is used in the batch system is from online or from another batch system so whatever the data that is used in batch system it could be either from an online or from another batch system for example I went to an ATM machine I the first thing I did is uh, entered my password and uh, looking for the pre checking for the previous balance or t t wanted to have a mini statements okay or if I'm 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 trying to withdraw an amount of hundred dollars at some amount so what I would do is so once you uh, once you select once you withdraw the uh, amount so they should be this data is uh, updated into uh, some VJAM or DB2 tables so what happens is this data is given as an input to the batch processing so where a set of jobs run at a certain period of time so that's the reason we say that data that is used in a batch system is either from online or from another batch system so most of the CICS transactions would be inquiry yes so you're going to ATM machine you're inquiring about the main mini statement checking balance doing money transfer inquiring the number of accounts and those and so on so you have many uh, things uh, so it's mainly we call it as a CSS transactions or inquiry so which are used to browse the data either from VSM file or a DB2 tables yes 
so there's with this is a little bit back on about the CICS so where you can you will be getting to understand what happens in the CICS so how the data how the processing is done so we are talking like mainframe is a big operating system it's a it's a processing is very high speed and uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> so how it performs fast and everything so this is a little bit background back end of CICS so difference are showing batch and online so almost every applications will have both online and batch system to reduce the burden on online most of the processing is done in the batch side whereas minimum validations are done in the online yes see to reduce the burden on online most of the processing is done in the batch side whereas minimum validations are done in the online most of the non money related updates are done online immediately and accurately if the transactions are money related a minimum validations are done in the online and main processing is done in the batch so so you here you need to understand one point is whenever there is a minimum validation they go for online so batch accepts a large volume of data online it's uh, just an inquiry mostly the inquiry yes it does an updates and it does and everything but mostly it is used for the inquiry so so this shows the difference of a uh, batch and online how and where it is used how it's interconnected with the batch and online so now we will look at at what time these online systems are available so most of the online systems are up in the morning 6 a.m. and down in the evening by 5 p.m. just before the job executes. So in the real time, we have a batch processing and we have a online processing. So online systems would be up from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. most of the most of the cases, and uh, batch jobs execute as soon as the online systems are done. So why because we need a data from that online systems and copy it into batch system and run the application kick off the jobs so this is the flow happens in the real world thank you for watching this video I hope you got a little information or some more information about this series CICS part 3 so if you like this video if you like this information please feel free to subscribe on the top Thank you so much for watching this video. I will be coming up with your more and more videos. Stay tuned. Thank you.